In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up program switching by using the external inputs on the IV3. The first thing we need to consider is how many programs we need to be switching between. These charts can be found in the IV3 user's manual. In this example, I'm going to be switching between three to four different programs. So as you can see, I need to use the program change bit zero and bit one. The chart on the right will show which combination of input bits need to be on in order to change to the specified program number. Now let's hop into the IV3 software. The first thing we're going to need to do is go into the IO settings. You'll see the first option here is program switching method. We must hit setting and tell the IV3 how we want to be switching programs. You're either going to be on panel PC network or program auto switching. So if, for example, you want to be switching from the PLC, you would have that option selected. But in my case, I want to use the external inputs. So I'm going to hit OK. And so now I need to assign my input lines. My input 2, I'm going to use bit 0. Input 3, I'm going to use bit 1. And again, this is because I'm switching between a total of four programs. So those are the two change bits I need to be using. You can hit OK here. And now we just need to consider which wiring on IV3 we need to be using. I'm using the self-contained model. So for input two and three, which is again what I assigned in the software, I'm going to be using the yellow and light blue wires. If you are using the IV3G model, which is the separate head and amplifier, you'd use terminals two and three for those two inputs. So now I have a side-by-side -side of my IV3 navigator. As you can see, I'm starting on program zero because I have no input signals applied. Now let's say I want to switch to my program one. I'll simply apply my input two signal and you can see it automatically changed to my program one. Please note you do have to keep this input signal on in order to stay on the specified program. If I were to turn input two off, you can see it defaults back to program zero zero because no inputs are applied. Now let's say I want to go to my program zero zero three or the final program in my sequence. I can simply apply input three in combination with input two. And you can see I'm now on program three. If you need more information on which bits need to be used for other programs not shown here in this video, please reference this chart or the user's manual for more information. If you have additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Option 2 for tech support. Thanks. Have a great day.